All right, we are now joined by the one Adam Wake kickboxing world champion, Janet JT Todd, who's obviously yeah. back in California now after a stunning knockout performance against Ninja Line and Line Hogstead. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but anyway, how are you feeling, champ? Feel good. Um, still a little bit jet lagged, <laughs> but I guess that's expected, right? <laughs> yeah. So that was a great fight. Um, it ended obviously in your favor. How did that feel to get another spectacular highlight reel knockout? Uh, it felt great. Um, it was something that I was anticipating to go to the body, uh, for this fight. Uh, but, <laughs> um, I guess, uh, for me, that's, you know, that was something I was working on to switch, uh, change up my levels. You know, if I'm going to the head, then kind of switch it up to go to the body. So I'm glad that, um, sort of what we were drilling in and planning on kind of worked out for this fight. How did you specifically set that body kick up? It's obviously not a kick that you would just throw out. Right. Do you think that she just didn't expect that body kick? Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Um, because I kept going, you know, I kept countering to, you know, punches the head or kicks to the legs or, you know, kicks on the right side. So, um, it, to, to be honest, that left kick just came out. Um, it was something that we always kind of drill. Like we, we have a drill where we kind of practice, you know, checking the kick and returning with kicks. And that was sort of something that's been drilled into me. So it just naturally came out during the fight. So it was really cool to see it happen that way. Um, did you watch your fight as, as it was aired tonight? What did you think of it? Um, my, my family watched it and I, I kind of, I kind of sat with them a little bit, but to be honest, I like to analyze my fights on my own. <laughs> I don't know if that's kind of weird or not, but I, I just like to watch it on my own and analyze it on my own time. So I'll probably watch it, you know, watch it again later myself to really, you know, see, see where I can improve, um, for the next fight. Okay. It was a pretty tough fight. Um, obviously uh, you got the victory, but what went through your mind as soon as, you landed that kick and how did that win feel for you? <laughs> um, like I said, it, it came out naturally. So when it happened, I was like, Whoa, Whoa, that happened. <laughs> um, and yeah, I was, I was extremely happy. I, I wanted a, a, like a body, a nice body shot to, to win the fight and to see my left kick happen was really cool. Although I was really practicing my, uh, my liver punch, <laughs> but a kick, kick is still the same. It's still good. <laughs> what was the game plan heading into this one? Um, she's, uh, she's a long, she's a long and rangey opponent. Uh, what kind of strategy did you have going in for this one? Um, I think Mitch kind of mentioned this during the fight. Um, I mean, I knew, I knew I had, uh, you know, strong hands, fast hands. So I was using my hands to set up everything. I knew if I use my hands to kind of block her visions, then I can land like my leg kicks or I can land other shots. And if I get her going back, then, um, get her going back with her hands up. I know that opens up the body. So it's just using, using my hand combinations to, you know, set up those shots at daring levels. Did anything about Anne uh, surprise you in there? Was there anything she did that you didn't exactly prepare for? Um, I, I mean, I feel like I knew going in, she was a well-rounded fighter. I knew she had good kicks and I knew she had good hands. And, and I mean, that still showed in the fight. She was very quick to respond with her kicks and, and, uh, she was actually very uh, quick with her kicks. So it was something that I, I practiced for and worked on checking my kicks and blocking the kicks. So I, I'm glad that aspect of the, of my drilling came out in the fight. Was there anything tricky that she presented to you that you had difficulty with? Um, I think I got caught with a couple teeps and, and, uh, a right hand, but I, I think I continue to respond and be able to come back with my own hooks. So I think I had a, I had a response for, for the shot she did. She did land. All right. Even though you are the one Adam Wick kickboxing world champion, is Muay Thai easier for you to compete in? Uh, 
I don't know if it's easier. I don't, I don't think either sport is easy. I think that's the reason why I do it because it's challenging in both aspects, uh, kickboxing and Muay Thai. Um, and I, I don't, I don't know which one I like, uh, competing in. I, I like both, to be honest, kind of like the four ounce gloves though. All right. You're taking out both Alma Uniku and Hogstad convincingly. Do you feel that this is enough to grant you a shot at the one Adam Waite Muay Thai world title? Um, I hope so. I hope that I prove to prove to people that I'm worthy of that, that contender spot to be able to fight for an interim title. I know that right now the world title is held by Alicia and she's um, pregnant. So it's kind of hard to defend a title belt then, but hope that means I have a chance at an interim interim title in the meantime. Okay. A fighter that's ranked higher than you in this division or in this, uh, in, in white tie is obviously Stan Fairtex, uh, a former opponent of yours. Uh, you fought against her for the title is a trilogy fight with stamp or another fight with her in white tie, something in your, in your plans. Um, e- even after the kickboxing fight, um, I always had a feeling that we would have a trilogy fight because, and, you know, our last kickboxing fight together was a close fight. And I know that everybody enjoys watching, <laughs> watching the two of us go. <laughs> so I, yeah, I kind of knew that the trilogy fight was going to happen, whether it was going to happen in Muay Thai or kicks, kickboxing, I don't know, but I, I knew it was something in the future for me. All right. So a while ago, um, one championship signed a fighter, Anisa Mexin, uh, obviously considered one of the top fighters in the world. And do you feel that she's deserving of an immediate shot at the kickboxing title? Um, I think, yeah, I mean, I'd be honored to fight her. She is the, she was a glory kickboxing champion and she's a very technical and all around strong fighter too. So, you know, I don't know how she compares in the rankings against stamp and others, but you know, I'd be honored to fight her as well. How do you like that matchup? What do you think you can do good in there against Anissa? And what do you think, uh, what is your opponent of her? I mean, what is your opinion of her as well? Uh, I, like I said, I think she's an all around um, strong, strong fighter. She has a lot of volume in her shots. Um, I what I think what I bring is also speed and power as well. So I think it'll be a good ma- matchup. Um, definitely a technical bout and bout of wits, I would believe. <laughs> What are your thoughts on uh, being able to fight on U.S. primetime TV? Obviously, this has been shown uh, the best, one of the best time slots. How does it feel knowing your fight will be watched by so many people in America? I mean, I'm excited that uh, Muay Thai gets to have a prime primetime spot on TV. Not many people on, you know, in the United States or I guess on the, the Western Hemisphere know Muay Thai as much as they know MMA through UFC. So, um, it's, it's an honor to be able to represent the sport and represent my country on TNT so that the world can, you know, enjoy why Muay Thai is such an entertaining, uh, martial art and maybe draw more people into the sport. You mentioned your family was watching the fight earlier. How was that, uh, scene like, what did it look like there? <laughs> uh, it's, it's cool because, um, you know, back in my amateur days, they, they didn't like to watch me fight at all. Um, but as soon as, you know, they saw how serious I was with, with the sport and, um, being on one championship kind of, I I don't know, they, it, they've started to really support me in it. And my mom gets excited and, and it was, you know, my mom's birthday too. So it was kind of cool to be able to, you know, enjoy her birthday and, and, you know, watch the fight together. All right. So if you have fighting on, on prime time, does that actually add an extra layer of pressure for you to perform? I think every fight adds a pressure for me to perform, whether it's on prime time TV or if it's in a, if it's for an empty crowd or if it's for just streaming on the internet, you know, I always want to show my best regardless of the platform. Um, so for me, you know, I, I just wanted to put my best foot forward. Like I, like I always want to do for every fight. Okay. We're coming up uh, near the middle of the year. Are we going to see you back in the circle before the year ends? 
I hope so. All right. At least I um, want to. <laughs> okay. One on TNT three coming up next week. Thank you so much for your time, Janet. Yep. Thank you. All right. Take care.